Right, you know those cool places you can go play darts with your mates and it will tell you essentially where your dart lands and it will give you mini games and it will tell you your score. Well, I was watching a video the other day about how those systems work and it's essentially just cameras, but it got me thinking, I reckon, I reckon we can make one. First, we need a plan. Okay, the plan is, the plan is we'll have three camera modules on the dartboard that triangulate where the darts land and send that through USBs. This isn't making any sense. I'm gonna have to draw it out. I'm gonna have to draw it out. Yeah, so I can't draw like at all. I don't know why I thought that was gonna be a good idea, but I can use After Effects. So let's do that instead. So we'll have the dartboard and then we're gonna add three camera modules that point towards the center. When darts are thrown, they should then calculate where they land and send that via USB to my laptop, which should then read out the scores. That's the plan. Hope that makes more sense. Two issues with the current setup. One, you need something to clip the camera modules onto so they can point towards the dartboard. And two, you need like a shadowless light system. Is that what it's called? Shadowless light. That sounds like an oxymoron. But it needs to be able to see where the darts land and if there are shadows, that's gonna confuse the cameras. So, I bought one of these. Side note, I'm not including the cost of the ring light or the dartboard in the total under 50 quid because so many people already have those ring lights and you can do it without it, it just might not work as well. So yeah, I need to get that piece of wood off, put the uh, ring light on and then, um, and then we'll go from there. Mm. Ah! So you're a bit dark. There we go. Boxes of boxes. Boxes of boxes of boxes. Here we go. It looks like it just um, like magnetizes on. Magnetizes. Is that the right word? Look at these. That is so incredible. Let there be light. Hey, it works. I mean, I don't know why I sound surprised. That is literally a product I've bought. It's obviously gonna work. This bit is where it's gonna not work. It's blue. Why is it blue? That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. So it would seem. That look blue. There are some tiny screws in here, just like loose in the bag, not even in the. Look, this is. I can't even show you. It is. Okay, so I guess these, these are clips, and then this is a camera module. So I assume these just kind of fit in together. Oh, I see, you screw them in. How many of those screws do I have? Right, I've got the screws. Now what? It's too small. That's what she said. I must be being stupid, right? Oh. Oh, I found it. Okay, so once the camera modules are on the clips, they then clip onto there somehow. So these probably just clip on here, right? And then they plug into USB. Not gonna worry about cable management or anything like that right now. I just wanna see if it works. So this little bit goes into this little bit. Magic. We're gonna use a software called AutoDarts for this. So I'm gonna load it up on there and yeah, let's have a look. Right, I've calibrated the system, I've set up the cameras, set up the system and calibrated the cameras. I've literally built this for like 30 quid, which is mental. It should work, right? Moment of truth. That's 20. Oh, that's 36. 76. It works! <laughs> oh my 
my god! Oh, that's a bad thought. 34. How does this work so well? This literally costs like 30 quid. I need to FaceTime my dad. I really need to FaceTime my dad, actually. Where's my phone? So at this point, it was working. It was just, um, it wasn't looking great, and it was just a bit wobbly. So um, I called in my dad. So my dad has this bizarre skill of just kind of being able to make anything out of anything. I don't quite know where that's come from, but I hope I inherit it. But yeah, so he made this. So that's basically it. I'll put links for everything I use in the description below, um, including the software, which I forgot to mention is completely free, by the way. I do want to improve it by doing some cable management and um, probably running it through a Raspberry Pi with a TV screen next to the dartboard. But I just wanted to kind of make sure this idea actually worked before I committed to that. So that's another day. So yeah, that is how you make an interactive dartboard for under 50 quid. Pretty good. Look like I'm about to drop the best rap album ever. Hmm. Maybe I should. <laughs>